On the Facebook page, I got a question from George C. Nixish, a very good question. How close to the hunting season do you start clearing branches? When do you start doing that? Short answer is, I you'll end up clearing branches all the way through the season. It doesn't make any difference. I would start in August. That's my recommendation. Go out there in August. Right now is a good time to do it. If you've got your tree stands up, you know where they're going to be. Put those tree stands up. Start trimming the branches right now. Keep in mind that right now with the leaves on, in most places where you're hunting, there's going to be leaves on the trees and you're going to be seeing it. And most places, unless it's uh, pine trees, that sort of thing, that's going to change when the season rolls around. As the season rolls around, those leaves come off. Believe me, you stick out like a sore thumb all of a sudden. And it does open up an awful lot when those leaves come off the trees. So keep that in mind. You don't want to over prune in August and then find out in October or November that, man, I should have left some of those leaves on the, I should have left some of those branches in place because now I have no cover whatsoever. So be careful about that. Where I hunt in Maryland and I have a guide set up, I complain every year that the pruning is not done. I still have good time down there and I still kill deer. So it isn't the end of the world if that pruning is not done, I guess is my point. When I first started up, I remember I was sitting in a tree stand. I had a tree stand set up over the doe field, nice little food plot there, and there was a buck that came out. I probably could have shot had I gone to the extent of clearing out this branch that was off to my left. I had talked about cutting it, never got around to cutting it. Sure enough, it wasn't done. And that was a dead branch that should have been pruned, and if it had been pruned, I probably would have had a better shot at that buck. Nice young buck. It would have been fun. Ended up killing a deer in that plot anyway the following week. It didn't make any difference in the end. It's not the end of the world, but... Get out there and take a good look, have a good sit in your tree stands, get a good feel for what's there, and start doing that in August. That'd be my recommendation. Then when the season rolls around September, October, we are getting to the point where you can get in there, and, and you can always follow up then when you go out. They make little portable saws. I did a review on the Huey Man saw once that I have. I like that little saw. It's a pretty handy little thing. It extends out to almost 10 feet, I think, because mine does. And you can go up there, and you can prune branches. You can throw that right in your backpack or carry it with you. Leave it right on the ground while you're hunting. Leave it right there under the tree stand. Hide it a little bit out of the way. But you could always prune those branches when you're out there in October, November too. You can do it then. So there's lots of options like that. But I, if you're going to start working on tree stands, it's nice to have the tree stands in place. Any intrusion that you have done by going into the woods, into the deer's habitat, try to get that out of the way a month or so before the season starts. Hope that's helpful. Hope you're enjoying the Crossbow Appreciation Month videos. And until next time, all hail Bungie! Bungie. <laughs>